Alternatively, you might have a list already of your customers and their email addresses or coming from a different email service subscriber that you've exported. In that case, you could click here, import subscribers. You could do it from a CSV file, copy and paste it directly, or use an integrated service to get something over from Salesforce, high rise, etc. So we're just going to choose copy and paste from file and then go ahead and click next at the bottom. Okay, so these two email addresses with the name are now going to be put into my subscriber list. Email, first name, last name. That's how you can paste it in. I understand that my billing plan may be automatically upgraded. So if your import is over 2,000 people, it'll automatically upgrade you to the next level up because as I said in the intro, the free account only covers up to 2,000 subscribers. I highly doubt that you have that much starting off, but if you do, good for you, and you'll have to start paying the fees that MailChimp charges. In the next episode, we'll take things a little bit further, so see you there.